the benefits uh, seem to be uh, obvious to anyone. Um, collaboration, uh, free availability of high quality uh, content and so on. But I'd like to stress one that perhaps people uh, may have less uh, obviously in front of their eyes. And that is a, a, a culture or an ethics, uh, perhaps we should, we should say an ethos of um, uh, collaboration which has percolated uh, across other initiatives. A kind of ethos that I find uh, particularly uh, inviting and certainly a great uh, contribution by the whole project, which means going way beyond uh, what the encyclopedia has achieved. Some of the challenges are the invisible uh, constraints that collaboratory efforts uh, always encounter. When we collaborate and we feel that uh, it's uh, more spontaneous, more bottom-up, that is more uh, up to us, well, some of the constraints that are inevitably there may be less visible. So, for example, in some projects, uh, there is a very uh, highly uh, regarded hierarchy uh, and, uh, and projects are not uh, just simply a matter of uh, getting together and organizing things. So, uh, I think one of the challenges is to make sure that what looks like a collaborative effort remains a collaborative effort, but it's also uh, in, uh, in tune with the need for, for structure, for uh, some hierarchy, for uh, some uh, strong organization that makes sure that the whole mechanism works. Perhaps if uh, a, a small suggestion uh, could come from a philosopher uh, in terms of tackling the challenge uh, of um, a hierarchy and a structure that is inevitably and usefully necessarily there, uh, would be more transparency. Uh, just a dash of extra uh, information about, for example, how the uh, articles are monitored, uh, what is uh, left to um, software and what is left to human intervention, uh, what it means to uh, validate some transformations, some changes, some new articles, for example. Uh, there's a lot of uh, intervention and inevitable uh, guidance more transparency on that front, I think, would be welcome uh, from everybody.